Already we are living in a complicated life, but now locals than COVID-19, they are now living in COVID. What I'm upset is that I see people that cannot eat. I see parents walking. I see diabetics sitting in my office, knowing that this is a death sentence. Feels good to be back. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach. I know I've been gone for a long time, but um, I have been uh, super, super busy moving into a new place, getting my life together um, with this whole COVID-19 outbreak. But uh, as for right now, we are live from the quarantine zone, the lockdown room barricaded inside my fortress <sighs> and it's been a very trying uh, series of months um, I've lost friends and family to uh, the coronavirus I've been scarred no, but for real though I, I have lost friends and family to the coronavirus and it's <clears throat> it's been pretty painful so in case you've been wondering where I've been, what I've been doing uh, the past few months, I know I've only uploaded like maybe one video and a couple other little things here and there, but um, that's the story. Been uh, dealing with all of that, moving back to New England and getting ready to see where this life takes me. It's been a journey. I mean, 2020 has just been wild. I mean, Kobe Bryant is dead. Uh, Tom Brady is no longer with the Patriots, which is just... I don't even know how to take that. That's just... Tom Brady and Gronk are, are somewhere else, and it just feels like my heart is just ripped out. Yeah. It's, ugh, it's devastating. Um, I couldn't even make a video for that. I, I wanted to, but it was just too depressing. Um, and also COVID-19 happened, so by the time out of that, that was over. I was just like, ugh. But anyway, uh, I mean, it, it has just been a wild ride. Democrats trying to um, basically overthrow the government, supporting these rioters. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, the peaceful protesters. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> the peaceful protesters and Antifa and BLM. They're, they're just the new KKK. That's what they are. They're the new lynch mobs. Except they're black. <laughs> they can't be racist if they're black. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's crazy. It's uh, it's a crazy world out there. China is trying to spy on us. Well, not trying to. They are spying on us, and they're trying to influence the election. China is is got caught spying, and <laughs> their consulate had people burning documents and shit in, in Houston. It's crazy, and they're trying to retaliate, but they can't really like. What is what do they have that we need? Nothing like. We could manufacture in India for all for all we care, yeah. And I think that's the plan going forward is that we're going to help India out. There's been this whole thing between China, India, and the U.S., and Russia has just been kind of like a spectator to that. So that's just this year. I did not expect it to be this out of control. I mean, I knew it was going to be. Um, a gamble, I mean, like, you, like the Seattle protests, like, trying to basically bait Trump into looking like, you know, the, the orange man dad, they always say he is, and, um, you know, Trump's just like, no, I'm just gonna sit back and let you destroy yourselves, and they were like, no, please sit in the feds, in the, in the army, and look like a, you know, so we can 
have opened up all these prepackaged uh, news stories that we already have written <laughs> for you. Uh, and you, you, you know, they were there. They were just dying, dying to publish Orange Man bad. Orange Man sends in the military. Orange Man is Hitler. They had been dying to use that line. And by the time Trump allowed them to do it, you know, it, it's too late because the people are basically begging for Trump to send in the feds and the army, send in someone, send in the freaking military to pacify these idiots. Honestly, I think uh, more people should just join militias, you know, join militia groups, you know, um, I'm considering it. Join militia groups um, and defend yourselves because <laughs> if they're going to defund the police, the only people that you're going to have to depend on is yourself. I mean, and just the whole defund the police nonsense that's going on. It's just, are you mad? Are you insane? Ah. Uh, that's just my reaction to some of the crap that's been going on. I, I've I've been just sitting back like, can this year get any more insane? Um, and I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jinx anything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna jinx anything. No, but um. You know, that's just been my basic sentiment. Like, can this year, you know, like, stop being insane? There are freaking locusts out in in Africa, killer honeybees and, uh, I mean, killer hornets or whatever. Killer bees and hornets and, and just, what? Uh, I mean, murder, murder hornets or whatever in, uh, uh, freaking worldwide global pandemic the pentagon openly talking about ufos um <laughs> what? the uh possible cold war 2.0 with india china and, and the usa and maybe russia it was just kind of on the sidelines kind of salty that you know the chinese are everyone everyone hates the chinese now and good because the chinese are are uh communist tyrants the chinese are terrible uh terrible you know their, their government is terrible their uh culture really surrounding uh their whole communist worshiping thing has been just is just destructive their whole ideology is is, is total trash and they've been oppressing hong kong it, it's just been crazy You know, I had to come back. I had to to um, just keep in touch with my fans, the people that keep me going. I, you know, I had to <laughs> just rush off campus just to deal with this nonsense. Um, and I'm just so glad um, that I'm finally able to. I might be able to get back uh, into the swing of things. Get back onto this YouTube. Game. And, you know, hopefully provide you with more quality stuff. Anyway, it's a boy coast. This is one video that I wanted to make for a long time. Um, all right. Till next time. Peace.